so welcome back everyone today in this video i'm going to share the full pc optimization to fix the slow performance lagging stuttering freezing problem and make your computer super fast and this will be applicable for both windows 10 and windows 11. now keep in mind guys that this video can be a bit lengthy because i'm sharing the full optimization steps so make sure that if you really need a change then do not skip any one of them and apply all the tweak now before starting the optimization i would also recommend you to be on a safe site kindly create a restore point in case if you are not satisfied with the optimization then you can quickly revert it back very simple click on your windows search type restore and click on create a restore point now here at the bottom you will have to click on create if the option is not being highlighted click on configure turn on the system production click on apply click on ok now you can click on create give a name here like i will type win optimization you can give any name that you want to and then you can click on create and it only take few seconds so you will have to wait until the restore point has been created and here we go so now you can click on close click on ok next click on your windows search type sys dm dot cpl hit the enter key and the system properties box will be up now here from the top menu option you will have to click on advanced under the performance you will have to click on settings now here in the visual effect it should be selected to let windows choose what best for my computer that basically enable all kind of animation here now enabling all these animation can result to some kind of lagging and stuttering problem so what you have to do here choose the third option adjust for best performance then you have to check few of them that are really required like animate windows when minimizing and maximizing show thumbnail instead of icon a smooth edges of a screen font click on apply now once done from the top menu option only you will have to click on advanced and here you will find an option of virtual memory so click on change and again it should be selected to automatically manage paging file size of all drive you need to uncheck this option and check the option of custom size and here you find two different options initial and the maximum size so this value will be different for all the user and it will be totally depending that what kind of ram you have on your physical computer so if you're not sure then you can click on your windows search type system and click on system information from the suggestion and here you will find your total physical memory so on my end it's 4 gigabyte on your end it can be 8 16 32 64 whatever you are using bring up the calculator enter the number of your ram here like i'm using 4 gigabyte so i will type 4 but if you are using 8 16 32 then you have to write that number now you need to convert this into mb so multiply it by 1024 okay so this will be your ram size in the mb now in the initial size you have to multiply this value by 1.5 so i will multiply it by 1.5 and this will be the value that i can enter in the initial size 6144 once done now you can just erase everything from the calculator again enter the number of your ram multiply by 1024 now for the maximum size you have to multiply this number by 3 instead of 1.5 so i will multiply by three here and this will be the value so i can just type in the round figure 12 0 0 and 0 then you will have to click on set and it will be set over here click on ok click on ok and click on ok again now you can close the calculator as well now the next week is very important guys and it's one of the best optimization and for that we will be using the chris titus tool for that bring up any of your browser type here chris titus tool and hit the enter key in this suggestion you will be getting the chris titus website or even you can open the github page now here you have to look for a command that should be below one command download and usage it says from an elevated a powershell command you have to run this command here okay so click on copy then click on your windows search type powershell right click on the powershell and choose run as admin click on yes and here you need to paste the command that you just copied so make a right click here and hit the enter key and this command will now be downloading any kind of required file and very soon 
a Chris title dashboard will be coming up. And here we go. Now I have already created a dedicated video on this topic. So if you need a detailed information about this tool, then you can check that video. Now as of now, what you will have to do from the top menu option, you will have to click on tweaks. Again, from the recommended selection, you have to select the standard. At the moment you click on it, you will find that few of the option has been selected here. Now, basically, these are the optimization tweaks and the customization here. And in the essential tweak, it says create a restore point. Now we have already done that. So we can uncheck it. Delete temporary file. I have already deleted. So I will uncheck it. But if you want to delete, then you can keep this option checked. Disable consumer feature, disable telemetry, activity history, game DVR, hibernation, a home group, location tracking, storage sense, disable Teredo, Wi-Fi sense, enable end task with right click, run disk cleanup, deep load edge. Now you can keep all these options selected. In case if any of the option you don't want to disable, you can uncheck it. Then come to the advanced tweak. It says Adobe network block. Adobe deep load. If you want to deep load your Adobe, you can do that. Disable IP version 6. Yes, I want to disable it. Disable the background application. Yes, I want to disable it. Disable full screen optimization. Disable Microsoft Copilot. So on my end, you can see on the right hand corner, I have the Copilot option. Now I don't need the Copilot, so I will simply check it. But if you need it, then you can uncheck this option. Disable Intel MM versus Pro. Yes, I will disable it. Disable notification trace and calendar. Yes, I will disable it. Set display for performance. Uh, if you want to display, then you can do that. I will uncheck as of now. Set classic right click menu. Now, if you're on Windows 11 and while making a right click on the desktop, you see the new context menu of Windows 11. But if you need a old context menu of Windows 10, that is a classic context menu, then you can keep this option selected. Remove all Microsoft Store application. No, I won't do that. Remove Microsoft Edge. If you want to remove the Microsoft Edge, you can do that. Remove OneDrive. Yes, I want to remove it. I will keep this option check. Now, additionally, you get some more option here like run OO shut up 10. And if I click on it, so this will bring an amazing application O and O shut up. I believe you might have heard about it or majority of them have been used uh, this kind of application. And this help you to disable all kind of unwanted permissions and manage your privacy. So if you want to check this manually, then you can enable or disable it by looking into each and every feature here. But if you're not sure what exactly to do, then from the top menu option, you can click on action and click on apply only recommended setting. Click on yes. And it will be applying only the recommended setting that will not be harming your device. And it says 106 settings have been successfully set. So click on OK. And now you can close it. Now on the right hand side, you have the customization option. It says dark theme for Windows. If you need a dark theme, then you can enable this option. Bing search in a start menu. I don't need it. Snap Windows, Snap Assist suggestion. Now here, if you are not sure, then you can just keep all these options to default only. Then below it says performance plan. Add and activate ultimate performance profile. So if you need an ultimate power plan, like if you click on your Windows search, type power cfg.cpl. Now here you get three options only, balanced power saver and the high performance. Now what I will do, I will simply click on add and activate ultimate performance profile. I have to click once here. Again, if I bring up power cfg.cpl, now this time you can see the ultimate power plan has been created and been automatically selected. Okay, so you have to do this option. Then you can close it. Now anytime if you want to remove it, then you can also remove from here only. Okay, now once you are done with all these tweaks, with all these customization, now finally you will have to click on run tweak here. That is on the left hand corner. And it will start applying the tweak here. So you will have to wait until it's all been done. And even you can see in the background how exactly it's performing. Like you can monitor the work done by this tool here. So wait until it's all been done. So once that tweak will be applied, you will be getting a message. Tweaks are finished. And even you can have a preview here that what exactly it did. Now finally, you can go ahead and close it. Next, right click on the taskbar and click on task manager. 
In the task manager here, from the left-hand menu option on Windows 11, you have to click on the Startup app. On Windows 10, you can find that on the very top. Now here in the Startup application, you have to look for all the third-party applications that are being enabled in the status here. Now what will happen? When this kind of application like Steam, Microsoft Edge, OneDrive, Discord, Skype, if they are being enabled here, they will boot along with your Windows 10 and Windows 11 that will be slowing down the booting time and even they will be running in the background and eat a lot of resources and that can result to the poor performance, lagging and other kind of problem. So look for the application like Steam or Microsoft Edge, right click on it and choose it to disable. OneDrive, you can disable it and once you are done, now you can go ahead and close it. Next, click on your Windows search, type services and click on services app from the suggestion. Now this box will display all kind of services are running or being stopped on your Windows 10 or Windows 11. Now what exactly we have to do here, you need to find out those kind of services for the application that basically you are not using but they are still running in the background and occupying a lot of resources that result to the slow performance and the lagging issues. For example, BitLocker Drive Encryption Service. If you are not using the BitLocker, you can make a double click on it. In the startup type, you can choose it to disable. Make sure the service has been stopped. Then click on apply and click on OK. Similarly, if you are not using the Bluetooth, then you can make a double click on it and choose the startup type to disable. Uh, stop the service, click on apply and click on OK. Then you can come to connection user experience and telemetry. Now hopefully the Chris Titus tool has already done some of the job here. But still you need to verify that if there is any service that you don't need and if it's running then you can disable it. And I have also created a dedicated video on this topic where I have shared 27 unwanted services that you can disable. The link will be in the description. You can check that video as well. Next right click on the windows icon. Click on settings. In this heading from the left hand menu option you will have to click on apps. Click on installed apps. Now here you have to look for the application that basically you don't use or any kind of bloatware that has been lifted even after running the Chris Titus tool. You will have to look for it and you have to uninstall it. On my end I think majority of them has been removed by the tool but still you will have to verify here. Whichever you are not using or you don't need you will have to disable it. Then from the left hand menu option only, you will have to click on personalization and here scroll down and click on colors and here you will find an option of transparency effect. Now once it's been on, you will find a transparency effect between the application and the desktop. Like if I disable it, so you can see the effect has been disabled and if I enable it, so you can see the effect. Now if you are not too much concerned about these kind of effect, then you can go ahead and disable it. Then from the left hand menu option only, you will have to click on privacy and security. Click on general and make sure these all options are being disabled. Go back, do the same with the speech, inking and typing personalization and then you can come down to the app permission. Now here whichever application you are not using, let's say if you are not using the location on your PC and laptop, then you will have to go ahead and disable it. So many applications like contacts, I don't need any kind of contact service. So I will go ahead and disable it. Then I will come back and phone call. I don't need the phone call. So I will go ahead and disable it. Notification, you can disable it. It will surely uh, improve the performance and the annoying notification and so on. There are many things like task, messaging, radios. Now, I don't believe any one of you might be using all these application or feature. So go ahead and disable them one by one. So once you are done disabling all these unwanted app permission, now next from the left hand side only you will have to click on system, then click on display. In the display you have to scroll down to the bottom and click on advanced display. Then you will find here an option of choose a refresh rate and it says a higher rate give you a smoother motion but uses more power. Now if you need the best performance, the smoother motion and you are not concerned about the power usage then click on the drop down and choose the maximum refresh rate available on your device and it will depend on your monitor that what kind of refresh rate it support so it can be 90 it can be 120 so you can select that option 
and see that what kind of difference it make now again you will have to go back to the system and then click on the storage now we already disabled the storage sense option that we covered in the Chris Titus tool but you have to verify this storage sense option has been disabled okay the so once it will be disabled now you need to manually come to this part here to this location have a look here on the temporary file and other kind of location that what kind of space they are occupying and you can free up some extra space by deleting this unwanted file okay so now after this you have to click on gaming from the left hand menu option click on game bar and disable the game bar from here again go back click on game mode and make sure the game mode option has been enabled now next if you are doing gaming on your pc or laptop and if you want to increase the performance the graphical performance of your game then you will have to click on your windows search type graphic click on graphic setting from the suggestion then it says custom option for apps you have to click on browse now you will have to locate to the location of the game now i don't have any game here on this device so let's say if your game name is valorant you will have to search for it i can search for edge because i don't have any game here so once you search for your game right click on it click open file location again right click on it choose open file location now you will be coming to the exact location of the game that will be the basically the path of the game from the top here you can right click on it choose copy again click here on browse paste the path on the top hit the enter key select your game icon click on add and once the game get added here you will have to click on options and select to high performance click on save and now your application or your game will be getting the high performance you can even do the same for any kind of video editing application that will be increasing the performance of that particular video editor all right so now we are only remaining with the final step where we have to assure that our computer doesn't have any kind of infection any kind of malware or any kind of trojan now for that i will be sharing an amazing tool that is absolutely free and will be doing a great job for you so bring up any of your browser again open up a new tab and type here hitman pro and hit the enter key click on the first website hitman pro advanced malware removal tool click on free 30 day trial here on remove malware with hitman pro because we only need it for one time choose the bit 32 or 64 once downloaded click on the downloaded file click on yes and this kind of dashboard will be up so click on next here next select second option here no i only want to perform a one-time scan to check this computer click next and now it will start scanning your device scanning your computer and trust me guys if you have any kind of problem any kind of trojan or any kind of issues it will find out everything for you so wait until it's all been done and after that you can follow the step to remove all these kind of infection that has been detected so on my end you can see that it's a new device still it detected some suspicious file the tracking cookie and it automatically deleted it so on your end it may take some time and it will detect a lot of uh, trojan lot of malware or any kind of tracking cookie so wait until all the process has been completed so once the scan will be completed it says the scan result no thread found on my end so that's a good news for me and even it can be for you if you found the same message here but if there is any kind of malware or any kind of trojan it will let you know that how many threat has been detected and then you can click on next next and then you can remove the file and click on close so once you have applied all these solution guys now you will have to go ahead and restart the computer and once the computer gets restarted now you will find a great change you will see that the computer performance has been boosted and other different kind of problem like lagging stuttering many other things have been resolved so that's all guys for today and hopefully you found this video useful if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye